Hey guys, how are we doing? How are my marvelous muses doing tonight? So, we have the high home mold again. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, <coughs> pretty sure I got allergies. Okay, so, um, those of you who saw me pour it in the clear, sorry. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, those of you who saw me pour it in the clear Cinderella, probably heard me mention that night. What another thing was I really wanted to pour it as. And I know they weren't this high. They were a little lower heeled, but... We're going to pour it as Dorothy's Shoes from the Wizard of Oz. Uh, I was going to do it in clear, I mean in red, and then I was going, I thought I had red sequins. I was actually going to uh, liquid fusion sequins all over it, but I was like, you know, that's going to take a month of Sundays. I may still do that eventually on one, but that'll be one that I'll really, I'll work on and film it slowly. But I wanted to go ahead and do this one tonight. I've also got a, another project that I started last night. You guys saw the turtle. You probably saw the hairbrush. I have the stingray on it. And I'm going to go ahead and just pour my clear for that. Before I do the shoe. Resin down in here. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're going to let this sit over here just for a little bit. I'm going to spray it with some alcohol, just to make sure we don't have any bubbles. There we go. Alright. So the color red that I'm going to use is Holographic Red Medium. And we're going to dump a good chunk in here. I want this. That's actually really good. I was going to say, I want this pretty thick. Yeah, I want that pretty thick. So, I think we got it there. Now, this mold here has this piece that lets you get it out. So, I clipped it. Uh, last time I didn't clip it very far down and I had to trim quite a bit. I'm going to try to clip it farther down this time and see if it helps. Also spraying some alcohol down in here. Especially down here in the heel part. All right. Where it's setting even, and then we're gonna start pouring. Okay. 
Okay. Nope, oh, should have done it a minute ago. Okay, maybe that'll help a little bit. Make sure I have it domed. Okay, it looks like I have it here. Maybe not, hang on. Down here in the bottom. This does not look like there's any down here. Okay, maybe it is now. Alright, we're going to let this cure. It's going to be an easy video. We'll be back tomorrow night to unmold it and see how they look. See you then. Bye. Hey guys, we are back. So we are ready to demold the shoe. Ready to demold the shoe. I don't want to add to this by doing something else. A part of me wants to take, I have a big rectangle tray. Part of me wants to take the big rectangle tray and make a yellow brick road on the tray and then make another one of these and have the two shoes like attached on the outside, of, toward the edge of the tray. I was like, would that be funny or what? I was like, how funny would that be? Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Oh my word. Yeah, I totally want to do another one now, and like I said, I want to do that tray. There we go. Good thing about it is, I did clip this far enough down now that this part right here should come right out. Yeah, see, that came right out. I feel like if I had a, something to clip it farther down even, I could eliminate almost every bit of that piece. So yeah, it was just that little bit where I didn't clamp it early enough. And there was some of it in there. So if you do this mold, put your clamp on when you get ready to pour. And put it as far down. You see it here on the mold. Put it as far down as you can get it. So I think if I would have maybe that could that's as far down as that clamp will go. I wonder if this other one go any farther. Nope. See that one doesn't go down as far. So if I can find, I'm going to have to look around and see if I can find some clamps or something to go down farther so I can eliminate this whole piece underneath here. Of course, it's thin enough right now. I can cut most of it off. And then we can clean this up a little bit here with the deburring tool.
part of me wants to take some black felt and put it on the bottom like the black sole and right here but it sits beautiful that is gorgeous guys i don't know if the camera is doing it justice or not but it is absolutely that red glitter is stunning yeah that's beautiful yeah, I totally want to do that now. I think I'm going to do that. It may not be tomorrow's video. Train. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm going to pour another one of these. I'll probably do it off camera, but when I get ready to do the tray, we will come back. And uh, we will have two high heels here. And... We can do the, there's no place like home, there's no place like home, there's no place like home, oh, <laughs> but yeah, so we can do two of the shoes, because they really don't look left or right, actually, yeah, they really don't look left or right, they look better this way though, I think, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do another one, and like I said, I'm going to do the tray, and I have a little castle mold. I might dye the castle green and stand it up on one end of the tray and this on the other end and make it look like Dorothy heading to Oz down the yellow brick road. We'll see what we can do. I'm definitely going to pour it again and make a pet pair. Definitely. 100%. I love these. Now, we have the hairbrush here also. It is done. We did the, uh, did the stingray in the center. All of my friends, Oklahoma and Kansas guys, I'm watching Reed Timmer right now. He's in Caldwell, Kansas. I used to go to Caldwell before Oklahoma sold lottery tickets. You couldn't buy a lottery in Oklahoma. You had to drive to Kansas to go buy a lottery. And Caldwell was the first town across the Kansas border going up uh, from Oklahoma, from where I lived at. That was also the way anytime, because I, I was born in Wichita. That was also how we went to Wichita. My father was born in Winfield, and uh, we used to take that back highway up through uh, Caldwell and South Haven and then on into Wichita. So, um, storm right outside of Caldwell right now, so if you guys are in that area, keep an eye out. Also, if you're in the Caldwell area, look at your house, you might see the Dominator. <laughs> if you've ever seen that on, uh, he used to have it on the Storm Chasing TV show on Discovery Channel. He had the Dominator 1 back then. Now he's got a Dominator 3. And he's actually just recently had it right in the center of a tornado with him and the people in it. Because it's set to withstand it. Because they can drop it all the way down to the ground. And it's like a tank. It's pretty much, if you've never seen it, it looks like a giant. It looks like a tank. So if you're in Caldwell, west side of Caldwell, look out your window. <laughs> you might see Reed going by in the Dominator 3. Which I think would be awesome to see. Alright. So we have our hairbrush here. Alright. I think I'm going to put some glue around this outside edge to make sure this doesn't come out. I don't want to glue back here because I don't want it to, I want it to still have a little bit of cushion to it. And if you do that, it's going to be really stiff. So we're going to put it, I'm going to put some glue in it right in here. Right. 
Okay. Now we are going to stick this under the edge right here. There we go. We have it, guys. We have the hairbrush. I love that mold. They have others, too, that are, like, not heart-shaped. And eventually, I wouldn't mind having a couple of those as well. I like the heart-shaped one. I think it's cute. But I would like to have something different. So, I could gift to somebody. And, uh, it wouldn't necessarily be the heart one. Alright. Beautiful hairbrush, guys. Look at that hairbrush. The sparkle in that is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's glued in around the edges here so it won't come out. And like I said, it's still got the... You see the give to it here? Still got the give to the hairbrush, which is what you want. You don't want it to be, like, so hardcore stiff. So... We have two two items tonight. Like I said, we're going to be doing another one of these in the next few days. I am going to pour a different mold tomorrow. But this, I will pour off camera and we will get to see it when it's when I demold it and do the tray. So we'll demold it and make the tray in the same day. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time. We're getting close. We're like 380 away from... Uh, yeah, 380 away from 4,000. Uh, when I get to 5,000, I'm going to do another giveaway. So, if you haven't subscribed, get us up there, guys. Get us to 5,000. I'm going to do another gift card giveaway. Uh, to me, that's just easier because it's, it's good for anybody in any country. I don't have to worry about saying, oh, I can't send it to you if you're in whatever country because... I could pretty much get you a gift card almost anywhere. So, uh, when we get to that, we will be doing gift cards. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cures beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.